good afternoon. So we're back again, uh, back on the railway tip. So if it's really windy, it's quite a it's quite a windy day, and that lighting's terrible. So we're digging with the big boy today. I'm gonna lay my stall out, and then uh, get cracking. So we're a little bit late today. We've had a uh, had a few little errands to run. It's about half past twelve in the afternoon. Get right there, get some. Uh, Secretaries. Lunch. Gloves. And the fines bag. Yeah, so we've had a few hours to run, so we're starting a little bit later in the day. But, still got a good five and a half, six hours of daylight to go at. So let's, uh, Stop dilly dallying and crack on. I'll see you on the first bottle. Had a few bottles out, all standard fodder. But what are the girls made of? If you know, stick it in the comments. We just hit a nice patch of fresh ash. See this just coming up here now. So nice fresh under there. And just down there, is there's a neck of a, it's either a beer or a mineral. But uh, I'm going to leave that there for now. I don't want to pull that out just yet because I don't want that to collapse in on me. So I'm just going to dig a bit more out in front of me and then uh, we'll go down. We've only been digging about 15 minutes and all this is just coming out at the top, so could be a productive dig. Who knows? We'll see. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, so this is what I was afraid of. Um, I had that bottle out. It was uh, one of them flipping vinegars, but it had a and applied next, so it looks early. Uh, I've had a few more bits and bobs. There's a, there's a buzzard just flying around up there. I can hear it squawking. You hear it? Just hit tree up there. It's just come right overhead. I've just got a really good view of it flying right across there. But I want recording, which is uh, always the case. Um, I'll try and get some footage of that and uh, piece it in, but. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to dig this out and then I'm going to go down again. Uh, you can see how loose it is. It's just, it's top stuff. It's just really, you know, really soft. But that's the capping. It's just like a really soft capping and then you get to the fresh stuff underneath. So let's stop chatting. Let's get back down. Right, so we dug back out now and uh, I've just had this from down there. Just had it wiped off on camera. Allen and Hanbury is limited. Um, now, if you watch Bottle Digger Dan, uh, or Crusader Dan, sorry, he's had the exact same bottle out this week. Off that Manchester tip. Look at that colour, stunning colour. Really nice. Might be one for the bulk bag, one for the clean up. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're just sitting, we're sitting fresh down here as well now. So. It's still down there, you can see the, the cover of the ash has changed. So it's fresh all the way down there. So uh, let's chase it down, see what we can get out, and I'll bring you back on the next one. So I just had this. At first, I thought it was metal. Then looking at it, I thought it was plastic. But I think it's tortoise shell. And it feels. Uh, it feels a bit heavier than plastic. If you look at that there, look. And it's like a, it's like glassy. It's not, a, it's not plastic. What the hell that is? Tortoiseshell bit of chain or something or a necklace decorative. If you know, or you found one, stick it in comments, let me know. Cool. Now right, let's crack on. Guys, I don't know if you can see that. That's just rolled out the side. Let's hope it's printed. Let's get it up. I think it might be plain. There's a couple of other bottles back there as well, but let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's plain. Like a little, let's see how, like a little mustard pot. 
still a nice bit of stone wear. Uh, I hope you can hear me all right. It's really, really windy today. And these trees are, there's a group of sycamores up here and they're knocking together and making a right old racket. But if you can hear that, it's like, uh, they're like knocking. Uh, but yeah, it's come down to onto a bit of a seam here, so. Mustard pot. Let's have these other bottles out and uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Yeah, so we're making a fair dent in this all now. We're about four feet down, bottom end. Um, just had a tiny little thing come away there from the wall. And this just came out and it's a little medicinal pourer. Got a pouring lip on, but it's uh, Wangdale's Concentrated Medicinal Cinnamon. I actually quite like that, so that could be coming home. We've had a few, few other bits and bobs teapot lid and I've had this sauce and it's only a sauce it's aqua but look at that neck I've never had a sauce like that and it's a uh, it's a drippy lip as well you can see like the the seam runs right up and then the, uh, they've got an applied lip on there but there's no markings on it completely plain and we've had a few a few other bits and bobs all them up there they're all modern at the minute but this, uh, this don't want to stop collapsing. I think it's an old rabbit hole. So it's got, that's all going to come in. You can see it, see it moving. So that's going to, that's going to once again undo all my hard work. Let's see what drops out. In fact, there's a, a tiny, tiny little bottle there that I missed. Look at that. Uh, possibly. Possibly some sort of poison. It's an early screw neck. I don't know. Oh, what's that? Curex number 12. If you know what one of them is, it's a new one on me, that, so leave it in the comments. I'm just going to wait for this to do what it's doing. There's a big kiln jar down there, too. See, it just, it's just cracking here. That's all going to come in soon. I just hope this doesn't come with it. All this. Go on then, here we go. Let's see what else drops out with it. Yeah, it's an old, it's an old rabbit hole, that. No, oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Oh, for God's sake. So that's just a... Uh, oh, for a flipping kiln jar. And it's cracked. Oh, it's still going. So this is the issue I have on here because there's so many rabbit holes. They just cut through. They cut through everywhere. The moment you put a, any kind of a unstable hole through, the whole thing just comes in because the rabbit holes collapse. Um, in fact, I've, I'm pretty sure I've done a, just dug a rabbit carcass up. It was like a big ball of fur. It looked like it had arms and legs. There was no skeleton or anything. It was just fur, fluff. But I'm pretty sure that's what it were at one point. Um, so this tells me that this hasn't been used. If there's a decayed rabbit in the bottom, it's an old rabbit also. Right. Let's get this cleared out again for the third time. See what came down in that spoil and uh, try and get back down. It's going to be about half an hour. Just uh, scooped with a little, just a little amber bottle showing there. So let's get that off there. Let's see what that's just revealed. Oop, sorry. sorry. It's uh, not to be taken. Oh, it's a Lysol. That's the one that shape. It's quite a small one as well. It's look at that. Focus. There we go. Lysol contained Lysol. So Lysol uh, is a form of poison if you ingest it. Not all these things were like super poisonous. It's just you shouldn't take it. You shouldn't drink it. That's why it says not to be taken. So they weren't like mega, mega bad poisons, but they'll certainly make you ill. 
if you drink them. If that's not very well struck there, just make it out very vaguely, not to be taken, but I'm definitely taking it. Yeah, it's a nice lip on that as well, can I? Really wide, really nice broad lip machine made, you can see it seems running right through. Yep, there we go, little wise hole, lovely. Right, let's have a let's have this spoil pile out. It's actually done me a favour because this hole's massive now. <laughs> if I can get back down to that level, um we should just better go straight down. Right, let's get all this spoil back out. And uh see you on the next bottle. Heartbreaker here guys, look at that. Stretton Hills, mineral water. Church Stretton. Now I've never heard of Church Stretton. I don't know where that is. Is it local? I'm gonna have to research that and I'll uh, I'll put the info on screen if I find out. But that would have been a lovely little mineral. What a shame. It means there is early stuff. I actually thought it were a cods when I saw that sticking out base. Nope, Stretton Hills, little mineral water. Right, let's chase it, see if there's any more in there. Sounds like I've got a few bottles. Just under here. Sorry about that, bit of glare there. Uh, this has just come out. It's a massive, a massive amber jar. Ugh. Look at that. Let's empty it out. Nice in it, but look at that. Massive thing. That's a uh, I think that's going to be a keeper. There you can see it, it's a three part mould. Gone up to the neck there and they put the neck on last. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I don't know what the hell that we used for, but in fact, if I speak into it, it sounds like reverb. Sorry. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that down there and I'm going to film me digging out this little bit here. So if I stick you there, try and get these roots out your way. In fact, no, I'll stick you there. Starting to go again, can you see it? Just keeps dropping bits and bobs in. Don't want to... Don't want to play. So that will rock. So let me move this jar out of the way so it doesn't get broken. There's a lot of bricks in this. This bit here, I've moved about seven or eight so far. Then they're really, really heavy. Sounds like a bottle. Oh, another big jar. Another big jar. Right inside it. I can go down the hill because I don't need another one. Right. Bit of aqua glass. Right. Nearly back down to the original level now. And my arms are done in. There we go. Bottle just come out of the side there. Teaspoons. Nothing brilliant. Flip 
thế này So yeah, there's a Get it back into fresh there now Just need to get all this back out here All that's fallen down there where I was digging before And get back into this ash That's where all the bottles were But I'm just digging I'm going to dig this out next Then I'll go down and uh, I'll bring you on the next one but it's there. Uh, this has just dropped out of here. So let me get my glove on and I'll uh, bring it right back. Quality content. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, right. So we're into another. We're into another rabbit hole there. Well, look. You got a tunnel there. You got a tunnel there. Probably in the tunnels there, and that's what this we're in. But I don't want to dig that out because all this is going to come down again. Look, there's a bottle sticking out there, but I don't want to pull it out because it'll bring it all down. There's another bottle sticking out there. Hmm. Not seen there. Uh, not seen one like that before. That looks a bit weird. But it's an early neck, but it's it's like a really thick gel. Uh, I can't really smell anything. Put that up there for a minute. And I'll show you this. It's like a... It's like a weird pattern. A boat. Oh, bloody hell. It's a boat in the sun. What's oriental to me, that? I don't know. Japanese? Chinese? Got a bit of writing on bottom, so we'll have a look. I can't make that out. Brentley, where? Made in made in England. Okay. Uh, not dice. Not dice made in England. Brentley wear, not dice, not dice wear. What does that mean? It's a nice bit of pottery. That's a shame it weren't too... Shame it weren't more complete. There's a lovely pattern on there, though, that boat. Let's get it back round for you. Look at that. Would have been a stunning little thing. But now it's just resigned to the scrap pile. Right, I'm going to dig this out round here. And I'm not going to pull these bottles. I don't, I don't want to make it any more unstable than it already is. Uh, yeah, let's get at it because time's getting on. So I've just done, I've just, oh man, I've just done a massive piece of the camera, um, but I've thrown on my bottles. I found a few bottles. We keep getting cavings. We've had another caving like that. It keeps exposing bits, uh, but nothing super early. Nothing too early. Um, just had a hose wine tonic. We've had a. There we go. It was there. 45 with cocaine. We had a green green wine bottle with a really drippy lip. And we've had some more bits and bobs. Um, I'm going to check me. I'm going to go through my ash pile, make sure I've not chucked anything out there. And then I'm going to move up onto the top of the hill to that hole I started last week. Because this one just doesn't seem to want to be stable. I've had about four collapses now, and I can't keep uh, can't keep just shifting soil and not finding anything. So I'm going to cave it in, chip it in, and move. Maybe have something to eat, and then uh, crack on. I'll see you on the next one. Right, so uh, just took five paste pots in a row. They're all there. They're all plain, every single one. Had another base bottom, no top. Um, honestly, we're having a bit of a mare today. I've got about three or four bottles that I want to take home. So, my back's, my back's hurting. Swinging this shovel all day is like proper heavy. It's like a dead weight. It's like three, three and a half kilo shovel. So you're constantly, constantly abusing your back muscles and your shoulder muscles. Should have brought the uh, Fiskars. It's only, it's only a kilo, so it's, you can wield it longer. Any road, right. 
Um, I've filled the hole in, um, just left the sides that'll cave in on its own when it weathers. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try a little test hole. I'm um, going to go and try a little test hole somewhere else and see if there's anything, see if I can't crack anything. At least to take some, you know, something for the clean up. Otherwise, it's uh, poor. Um, I filmed a video last week as well. I've not even, I've not even uploaded it. I found about five bottles. One of them was uh, a Bloom, uh, the Bloomsbury Works Leeds uh, extract of herbs. Really nice bottle. Um, I might stick that in at the end snippet here on this video. I might not. I might just put it on my Instagram page. So if you want to go and check that out, it'll be Lancashire underscore lad nineteen underscore nineteen eighty. Um, yeah, right. Stop moping about and uh, let's get another test hole win. I'll see you in a bit. Hey. Well, that's the end of another dig. Um, not the most productive. We've had uh, a live saw I've taken the angler in Hanbury and the uh, big amber. More sanders today. To be fair, a lot of amber glass. So, three or four bottles. So, what I'm going to do is. Yeah, so. I just can't work this tip out. It's. Sorry, about the juttery angles, I'm just trying to get my bag on. There we go. So we've had the huge glass jar. Like I say, all amber, everything amber. Um, we have one good dig. And then the next two or three are like really poor. And then we'll come back on and have another good dig. I just can't, can't work this tip out at all. It's just... Uh, it disappoints you to the point where you think about giving up on it and then it'll throw some at you like a really old piece and you'll think actually I'll, I'll give it another go and then it might give you like one or two poisons and some nice pottery and then next two digs will be absolutely diabolical <sighs> so frustrating um, yeah I mean I, I opened a fair decent hole if it weren't for the uh, if it weren't for the cave-ins, you were out with that sun behind me. Um, if it weren't for the cave-ins, I wouldn't have given up on that hole. But it's just, just the rabbits, they've just, they've churned it so much. It's so hard to dig through. Um, you're digging into fresh, but the top in, the top's like really soft mulch. You've seen how it is, I've shown you on camera. It just, uh, the moment you pull a bottle out of the sidewall, or the moment you touch it wrong with, with a fork, or cause too much disturbance, right? It just, uh, hang on, let me put this down because I'm shaking all over the place with that, aren't you? There you go. I'll sit you in there. Yeah, like I say, so the moment you go too close to edge, it just comes in. Can't, can't do it with it. There's nothing, nothing I can do. It's just going to be that way. It is frustrating now because you put so much work into it and it just doesn't repay you. Um, there's been a bit of been a bit of chatter on one of the bottle pages this week about boring bottle digs and mud larkers and just posting random crap and whatever. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm getting to the point now where. Not really finding much on some digs, so is it worth even putting them out there? Um, I honestly want your opinions because uh, this guy's saying, you know, he's what's the point in what's the point in showing boring bottles, twenties, thirties stuff, modern, you know, modern day bug stuff that people just take for the book bags. So the way I see it is, I do it because I like to show people that it's not all roses and rainbows you come out you think you're going to do this hobby and go on with ginger beers and cods and poison bottles and god knows what else pot lids um yeah if you're on a really early tip you might do 
but um, really early tips are few and far between now. And the ones that are still about, people don't want to give the locations, which is fair enough. So unless you stumble across one accidentally, there's no chance of you getting on there. Or if you get a friend who's been digging a while and wants to take you away, there's no chance of getting on. So I like to show it as it is. Um, now, like I say, you're not always going to go out and find top-notch gear. You're not going to go out and find anything. Take Bottle Digger Tom last week. He did, uh, he did a full dig. Didn't take a single bottle home. Um, I, dig a, I did a dig the other day. I must have took about three bottles and a clay pipe. One of them with these, uh, the Bloomsbury Works bottle from Leeds. Um, so I might intertwine a little bit of that footage into this video and show you the clean up from that one as well, um, as well as this one. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this tip. It's just so frustrating, so frustrating. And the road, I'm nattering now, aren't I? So what I might do is now the uh, the autumn's here and uh, the nettles are dying back. Could possibly get back on that Burnley tip. It's such a, it's so overgrown in summer. It's unbelievable. You never see it in the month of Sundays. So I might, uh, might go and have a do on there next week. And we've also got the bar, uh, the barn one, haven't we? Which now this is all dying back. We can get back on. Um, don't dig it through the summer, but I've got permission to. So I suppose we could go back on there and have a do. Um, what they did, they levelled it flat. It were it were quite a hill, <coughs> ash pile, and they levelled it flat to build the put, uh, the football pitch, and then they levelled it flat again up to the river edge to put another little pitch in on top. Um, so we might go and have a do in the bankings and see if we can't get anything out. Um, I know there's stuff there because me and Rob found some stuff last time we went tootling around it, little rabbit holes and whatnot. So that might be an idea. Um, other than that, yeah, that's me done for today. Like I say, and then. Uh, I'm gonna go home, have a bath, have a nice hot brew, and just relax for the rest of the night. And I'll see you guys on the clean up. Right, so we're literally just over a foot down. I've just come behind this tree here, just to get a bit of cover more than anything. It's a gorgeous autumn day. That cloud's gone, moved off over there, but we've just had a fist find. It's a full face this time. I don't think she's got any teeth. But it's a full face. Uh, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly getting a full head. That'll be coming home, I think. Just to clean up and see how she cleans up. Lovely. Right, let's crack on. So it's got a, it's got a bottle just sticking out of the side wall here. Is it? Yeah. It is a James Wadika of Bolton. Lovely, lovely aqua panel though, an early one. Just out of the sidewall there, so I'm not opening a massive hole. Just a little, a little test hole today. So let's get back at it. See what else we can get. I don't know if you can just make out a bottle just there. Can't tell what it is yet, but we'll. Uh, We'll extract it on camera. So it could just be a plain panel. Yeah, just a plain, a plain aqua, aqua panel bottle. Hmm. Can go up there with rest. Uh, we've had an oxo. Just up there, we've had a, a small, a small little oil bottle. We've had one on James Waddy because you've seen that come out. So I'm just gonna, just gonna keep chipping in, see if anything drops out. Right, let's crack at it. Just had that. It's heavy. It's like a, I think it's a doorknob or a cupboard handle, but it's glazed. It's made of metal inside. Yeah, it's quite a heavy little thing. You just sit metal on the edge there. Look at that glaze, though. It's like perfect. It's like a conquer. <laughs> right, let's crack at it. Right, so we'll just start a new little hole. 
that one over there weren't producing anything, so we started again. But I've just had this. A club pipe. Little fancy design outside there. And it's double sided as well, but that side's missing. Club. Huh. Quite a nice heel on it as well. Yeah. Might take that one for clean up. There we go, with the pipe. Right, so we're just about to head home. Sun's just about to set over there. Then uh, just have a little poke about in a rabbit hole, as you do before you go. Sorry, just got a message off that screen. Um, just down here, actually. And the bottle's just come out. One that I've never had, but I've seen. Um, and I'll turn you around when I show it you. It's really nice. So it's a, a Bromley's extract of herbs. The Bloomsbury works in Leeds. Nice, relatively local bottle, stunning aqua. But it's a bit gunky, so we'll have to empty that, but... You know the rule, you find a bottle with uh, stuff in. Got to give it a whiff. Extract of herbs. Don't actually smell of anything. See, it's like a gunky light brown, whatever's in there, but it's uh, solidified. It smells of nothing, doesn't it? It just smells like grass, really. But that's a stunning bottle, really nice. I've seen these come up, but I've never actually found one. So, uh, yeah, lovely. I'm happy with that. Turn it off now. Right, so we just had this one, next one out. It's a uh, grill sauce, CWS. I believe that's uh, Glasgow, I'm not sure. CWS grill sauce, nice, uh, nice shade in it. First lip, stunning colour. It's more green than blue, aqua. Nice, right. Let's have another 10 minutes in this hole and then we're gonna get off. And then... Happy Halloween. <laughs> Come on, dog. Uh, yeah, little girl's been carving pumpkins. Right, let's get into this clean up. So, the first part of the dig. This is what made it home. So we had the little, the little doll's face. She's had a, a quick scrub just to lift a bit more grime off. She's still got a little teeth in there. Eyebrows, eyelashes. The club pipe. Never seen a club pipe, so if you find one, let me know. It's got a really weird internal thing there, look at that. It's like four draw holes. I've never seen one like that before. Hmm. Couple of stoppers. One of those James Waddickers, because they always clean up really well. And this one's like an ice blue colour. You know, with like a, a really dark aqua. And then that Bloomsbury works. Look at that. Let me get my fat fingers out of the way, hang on. There we go. Bromley's extract of herbs. Bloomsbury works leads. Stunning bottle. And then the latest dig. <clears throat> We've got obviously that huge Huge amber pot, really nice colour. That looks like my new, uh, my new pipe pot, or stoppers, stuff like that. So, we'll get using it now. We had that little tiny, well I think it's a poison, but I'm not sure it's a screw lid, so it's going to be recycling anyway, but brought it for clean up. Took on the uh, Wangdales. Concentrated medicinal cinnamon. That lovely little 
ceramic mustard pot. Cleaned up quite well actually that. Crazy though, look at it. The uh, Allen and Hanberries, which now I've cleaned it, it's looking a tiny little bit sick outside there, but really nice colour. So that's going to go in the recycling, I'm afraid. Those two. And then we had the Lysol, which cleaned up beautifully. Nice little neck on there. Lysol trademark. Not to be taken. Go with that. Stunning. So, so in pickings this week, guys. Some nice bits of bobs, but uh, nothing mega. Um, so yeah, that's me. Uh, that's what I do. I keep it real. I don't. I don't stitch together like a million digs in a week and uh, show you all the best clips. Put the same clothing on every time, and so you won't think. You know, people won't notice. People are stupid; they notice. But uh, people think that's okay and acceptable to do that. I maybe stitch two videos together just for the sake of uh, timekeeping, really, and showing you what I've had this week. This was just a quick half an hour dig after work. That boy's brew bottle, and the rest of it were today. So that's it. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you like what you see, then hit that like, subscribe button, like the button. Leave me a comment, I love reading your comments, and uh, I usually reply to them all. Um, and yeah, just show me some love, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye, Nox. <laughs> <laughs>